Welcome to another Impartial Theorist. This week we're in the depths of Wart. Um, it's pledge drive, so we thought we weren't even going to be able to shoot here, but somehow just got packed into this little this corner be, office. Yeah, literally the extreme corner of the building. <laughs> but yeah, it's this was somebody's office, but not currently, so it's our studio today. Yeah. But yeah, so we've got some news. Actually, this week we're pretty much just talking about pardons. Yeah. Um, and and all Trump as you yeah. know. That's never going to change. And Trump loves pardons. So apparently, and this is always like one of those, some White House staffer said, um, so you know, so you need a little, to stop saying shit. Yeah, but they can't. They, like, did you hear about that one that was like, he was like taking pictures or something and like showing off to his friends. Like, taking pictures of what? Like just in of what? Trump yeah. and like in the Oval Office and stuff. Uh, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, they sound like they're 12. Yeah, I mean, I think they are. They're probably just like, you know, He's like out of kids. Yeah, like interns interview. or like just going to school in D.C. to like get in the politics somehow end up as <laughs> like one of Trump's aides. aides. <laughs> Fucking wild. Um, one of the things that was said was that Trump is really pumped about pardons. Apparently that's like what he's talking about. That's his new favorite topic mm -hmm. at the White House. So because uh, he found out it's the one area that there's really no oversight he, he, over. He, 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 he <laughs> yeah, he really yeah. has got full control there. So he's he's going nuts. But also, I think he's you know he's just getting really excited about it because. He's potentially going to pardon himself. That's yeah. what he's like throwing out there. Yeah. And you know he's thinking about pardoning Manafort and Colin. Yeah, yeah, I, don't, I don't think he's actually thought about it yet. Like, he, the first time he probably thought about it was when... When the reporter the, asked. <laughs> not asking his mind. He would have thought about it eventually if his pardon had gone through. Because if Manafort and shit go down, he don't give a fuck. It's, yeah. It would be good on to take him with him, take them with him. That's a problem. But he's gonna pardon himself first. Because even if he pardons them, there's still information on him. And then he might have screwed himself because he can't pardon. People would have been more onto him or some shit. It might bring more scrutiny. Like, he might just. He's gonna pardon himself first. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. But so. Well, I guess maybe we should just jump into the order of yeah. how we had this laid out. So. First. Well, okay. So. Basically, there's been a whole string of celebrity pardons going, and apparently there's as many as paperwork for as many as 30 mm. people lined up right now. A scooter Libby was indicted in 2005 on charges of obstruction of justice, and then perjury and making false statements to investigators, largely denying his contacts with media about playing. So, anyway... Yeah, I guess Trump pardoned him. It's on the uh, justice.gov website right here. So, uh, along with uh, Jack Johnson, Dinesh D'Souza, Christian Saucier, and Joe Arpaio. But then, yeah, the newest one to add to that was came after his meeting with Kim Kardashian. Yeah, but that wasn't really a pardon. That was a commute of the sentence. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, she, so they're not saying that she did nothing wrong. They're saying that the crime she did and then the punishment don't correlate. She's already served about 20 something years in prison. So she's been in prison since 1996, so she's served 22 years in prison, which yeah. is wild. Cause she's 65 now, 63, I forget. What's, what is her name? Do you have it? Alice Johnson. Okay, yeah, Alice Johnson. Alice Marie Johnson. So she was apparently uh, like a pretty low level basically just doing communications and like a coke selling operation um but apparently it was like a pretty big one yeah and so that's why she got the life sentence but it is kind of interesting because trump has always been really hard yeah but kim kardashian well yeah that's what's like interesting about it it's like okay so trump does have like a reasonable like soft spot i, I don't even know nah, it was soft just spot because kim kardashian <laughs> said it if anybody else had said it, she probably wouldn't have done it. Because yeah. she's a certain level of celebrity where she, like her popularity is like three times his and people still hate her, which, like I don't know how she's managed to do that. And people try to discount her and say the shit she's done is not impressive, 
can you fucking do to make it a billion dollar industry? <laughs> Shit, I can't. Like, yeah, what what they've done is fucking impressive. People have to give them that. And Trump kind of likes it because of the tits and the ass, like low key. And she came. Well, and now I mean the Kanye connection, yeah, right? Yeah. Because Loki, Trump never really cared about Kanye. All he cared about was that he he, he told a lie. He told Kim Kardashian to her face a lie, saying that Kanye has doubled his African American numbers, which is bullshit. Kanye lost half of his African American numbers off that shit. He didn't double Trump shit. But anyway, Kim Kardashian went and talked to him and tried to convince him to pardon Alice Marie Johnson because she had found out about the story on the internet or somebody told her about it and she became passionate about it and talked to the woman, got to know her and shit. So she went, talked to Trump in the Oval Office. Trump took a little couple of pictures, you know, the shit that he likes to do, held the shit like that, that shit. Mm -hmm. And eventually commuted her sentence. So she got out of jail and Kim went on CNN to talk about how Alice Mary Johnson took the news because Kim told her herself that basically the woman was shocked, like she, she didn't, like, it's Trump. She was shocked and her family was happy and they basically, they've been saying they owe Trump because they kind of do, like low key. Even if you hate the dude, he still let her out of jail. So they've been showing appreciation and shit. And Fox News tried to put it as Kim and Kanye are now pawns of Trump. And Kim, Kim is not Kanye. She doesn't fuck the Trump like that. So she straight up said no. Nah. Yeah, why? Yeah. I mean, why? What is the like? What was Fox News? news because because of the Kanye shit, people are saying now that Kim is in, because Kim was the more liberal one. Kanye is still more liberal. He just likes Trump energy. But yeah. Kim Kim was the one that never fucked with Trump. Always tweeted shit about him. And the fact that she went there is saying that Kanye has changed her mind and she become a pawn too. So which is just enforcing the fact that they see Kanye as a pawn. But I mean, I think it's just as arguable that. Trump was the her one, yeah. Like, he actually was. Because <laughs> if you know that family, that's the shit they do. They're good at manipulation and coercion. Yeah. Like the mom, Chris, is look. If she was president, I'll be cool with it. Cause she she will manipulate the fuck. Like she should have gotten Kim Jong to get rid of those fucking people. But trust me, <laughs> that woman is scary. She's she's like a mob boss yeah. for a fucking pretty ass woman. It makes no sense. She's really scary. Like really, really scary. Anyway. Shit. Um, yeah, basically they were manipulating him. They got what they wanted. It's basically not a liberal agenda, but it's to, like, Republicans don't care about Alice Marie Johnson. Like, Loki, most liberals didn't either. It's just, she did, and she made, and that was her goal, and she got that goal. And, which is interesting, because other people have been pulling out of the prison reform conversation for a while. Like, most notably, Pusha T and then also Big Mill and a bunch of people who were supposed to go talk and they just said no because they didn't think it would work they thought it would just be some spectacle but Kim made it happen so kudos to her okay so yeah and then um, I guess other people he's thinking about pardoning though um, which Trump apparently not no, no one <laughs> about his in his all his excitement to pardon uh, apparently he's he's mentioned Martha Stewart Possibly, and then also Rod Blagojevich is the former Illinois governor who was, uh, well, he's Republican, so that's probably why Trump is feeling it. But uh, he was arrested on corruption or convicted on corruption charges, so and is currently in prison, I believe. So mm. yeah, he's serving a 14-year prison sentence. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, he was the one that tried to um, when Barack Obama vacated his seat. He basically tried to, like, sell it, <laughs> um, and got busted pretty fast. There were like recordings of him. So, well, he fucked up. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, apparently, yeah. So Blagojevich was on uh, Celebrity Apprentice, though. Oh, so he's gonna get party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but so uh, Blagojevich, huh, Blagojevich's wife was on Fox News oh, and apparently yeah, like, 
kind of talking directly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, of course everyone knows you want to you want to talk to Trump. You got to get on Fox News. So yeah. apparently, you know, there's probably going to be a whole lot of people lining up yeah. asking for pardons. I don't think there's going to be any more like him. So I think now the Republicans have got, realized that he's on a pardoning spree. They're going to hug all the time. Yeah. Yeah. The Democrats couldn't have done that shit anyway. So. Plus, they don't care. They, they just want him out. Yeah. So, anyway, talking about more pardoning shit, we spoke earlier about Trump wanting to pardon himself. And there's a whole lot of, like, it's, it's spawned like 2,000 for the fucking articles just because he tweeted some shit about him pardoning himself. But also because he's been joking about it for a minute and tweeting about it, trying to put that shit in everybody's head. Yeah, he's thrown it out kind of lightly, but now his latest tweet was. As has been stated by numerous legal scholars, Julia, I, have, <laughs> I have the absolute right to pardon myself. <laughs> but why? Yeah, why is it all caps? But why would I do that when I have done nothing wrong in the meantime? No, why are you talking about it? The never ending witch wrong. hunt led by 13 very angry and conflicted Democrats and others continues into the midterms. Yeah, that's definitely one of those doth protest too much <laughs> moments. It's like, but that's why would I when I have done nothing wrong? It's like, well then why are why, you what is, yeah, <laughs> This whole yeah. tweet shouldn't even be there. Like he just, he's just trying to get that yeah, in people's minds to be like, hey, you know, you guys, you know, if, if I did do anything wrong, yeah. which I didn't, I can do this. I can do it. You know that, right? Yeah. He's, he's I, just, he's testing the waters. Like. Yeah. And so, you know, interestingly enough, I, I read the Snopes, uh, you know, fact check on that. And it is, it is complicated. And Trump is actually right. There are a lot of legal scholars that do argue. Well, so in the Constitution, it says that the president does have basically unlimited broad powers to pardon anyone. And then it says, except in cases of impeachment. And so apparently a lot of legal law scholars argue that that means only impeachment of federal officers. Like you mm. can't pardon someone who... Yeah, but it's, le it's, it's legal writing. It can be interpreted by whoever the person has a good enough lawyer. Yeah, well, and so apparently there are other scholars that argue the other way, that mm -hmm. this impeachment does include the president. And there is someone, um, I don't know, in, during the Nixon era that kind of pointed to just the English common law that no one should be the judge of himself. And while that's not like explicitly in the Constitution, I think it's kind of like that an inherent been, understanding yeah. of like... And that would have been what they referred to when they were writing the Constitution, because they used to be English. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I think most of the Constitution is based off of English mm -hmm. common law, but because the English don't have a Constitution, right? Yeah. Like that is basically their Constitution. Yeah. So, um, which is just weird. Not really. They I mean, it probably. Yeah. yeah. They never. Yeah. <laughs> It when just seems weird. It'd be, be hard to think of, like, because it's just so like the basis of our government. Like always, like every Supreme Court case always comes to, like how you interpret the Constitution. Which is bullshit. Because so. it's just a bunch of drunk dudes, fucking Loki. <laughs> like, George Washington was a fucking philanderer. Like, no. Nah. Well, yeah. I mean, I think if you, when I was in college and studied the Constitution, like, yeah, that was basically a lot of the framers were kind of like shit like this was our best effort like which somebody should probably rewrite this at some point but fuck it <laughs> you know, like, this is the best we can do for now so here it is and then somehow we all kind of just forgot about those sentiments and we're like this is the yeah. like the fucking ten commandments or some shit but if, if time moves if enough time passes people would do that with anything so, yeah but um so back to the kind of uh, oh yeah the framers so uh, and then in the snopes case or in the snopes article here it does say that there was a lot of talk and extensive debate about um the, pro the power of the pardon and how broad it should be but apparently there's no like documentation of yeah. 
them discussing whether the president would pardon himself. So it just didn't come up. And then also, not only did it not come up there, it just hasn't come up in the history of yeah. this country. So no one is that's what else I was reading is that like so the biggest thing is is that just there is no precedent yeah. because it just hasn't been done. Because so, te technically, we are supposed to be the the safeguards of like the highest office in power. We're supposed to vote based on what we see the character of the person, but. If we vote based on a bad character and that was kind of the thing that made people want to vote, then that whole system of checks and balances is bullshit. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and so I mean that's just kind of the crazy thing is like just no one ever could have dreamt up a President Trump. You know? yeah. <laughs> but here we are. And so now we might be setting precedent. So we already have Richard Nixon to thank for the president can't be indicted, but now I guess we can maybe have the history after President Trump will have <laughs> maybe <laughs> President Skin. Shit, I feel like nothing. Themselves. I've said it many times. Nothing is gonna happen to that dude. You can do whatever the fuck he wants. Cause he bullshits, and we believe that shit. He's confident in his bullshit. That's another thing. You can't say Trump isn't confident as fuck. He oozes that shit, except for when he doesn't. When he doesn't, he really fucking doesn't. But he, he we, we basically let him do whatever he wants so far. So why are we gonna stop now? Like, because right now Trump wants Trump. Trump tweeted that it's his absolute right to pardon himself, and that should have been a huge red flag. But Loki, people don't like. I know people care. It's on a bunch of articles and shit, but regular people don't give a fuck. Cause he's already been doing whatever fuck he wants to do, and Rudy Giuliani, who Loki should be seen as like the honest version of Trump. Not really honest, but like speaks what Trump is actually thinking. Basically said that the president has the power to do that shit. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. So it wouldn't be unthinkable. Meaning he's probably planning to do that shit. But. Okay, actually this is kind of crazy. Um, so this <laughs> in this Snopes um, article, I was just looking through it and there's a political science professor at Rock Valley College in Rockford, Illinois, who runs a blog about presidential pardons, agrees. But it's right. just crazy because that's the community college in they my hometown to, yeah. that I fucking went to. Like, what? And I never heard of this guy, but apparently there's a... No, because you pull some shit out the ass and it seems like Snopes just did. Yeah. Like he said that Trump can? Well, okay, so what he says is that, yeah, Trump could at any time. He said he could technically... Uh, pardon himself right now from any uh, Mueller probe shit by just like writing it on a napkin and signing it. But then he says that in reaction, Congress could see that as an abuse of power and then file articles of impeachment. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's that's basically what most people have been saying. Yeah, but then what would happen? Can you can you pardon yourself twice? No, <laughs> like, he, like, he can't, I don't think he can pardon himself from the impeachment. Yeah. Because that's when that whole argument comes up. That if, who kind of press, it does the impeachment like clause in that law apply to Trump or federal agents that yeah. got impeached? Yeah. It's going in fucking circles, but. Yeah. Yeah. I'm already exhausted, <laughs> And it's only been like 20 minutes. Yeah. yeah. Well, and then, so we kind of already talked about it, but it was uh, Cohen and Manafort, and a, a reporter asked Trump about this, and his response was, I haven't even thought about it. I haven't even thought about any of it. It's certainly far too early to be thinking about that. Of course, he always has to say the exact same thing three different ways. <laughs> but he, and then he added, they haven't been convicted of anything. There's nothing to pardon. Which, it, again, going back to the Snopes, and I mean, I, I know I'm relying heavily on Snopes here, but they've always been a solid source, I find. And, but anyway, they're uh, saying that actually he could pardon people that haven't been convicted of a crime, and there is cases where that's happened with George W. Bush. Uh, and there was another one too, but anyway. Um, yeah, I think you're right. He actually probably hasn't thought about yeah. it. And he's probably just more worried about himself. Yeah. And, yeah. 
Yeah, I think he's probably just gonna wait to see what happens. Yeah, because he, he he's he's in such a tight spot. Look, he he must be freaking out every day. I, probably not because it's Trump. But if any normal person will be freaking the fuck out. Yeah. I'm trying to like figure out a way out of this shit. And I actually think that that is kind of Mueller's game. Yeah. Because that's what I started thinking. Like, he's letting Trump do whatever. He's just letting him sweat it out. Because I think that's almost going to be more effective. Because Mueller, like, there's this chance that it just doesn't does nothing once he finishes the recording. Mm -hmm. So I think he's just thinking like. Just let it, this shit drag out because it's driving him nuts. Like Giuliani was like trying to yeah. made up that like fake end date, and like then Trump has been talking about it. Like oh, it needs to wrap up and shit. It's like because they just want it to end because mm -hmm. they're just this is freaking them out. Yeah, yeah. But it's like the more it's open, the more they just expose themselves. Yeah, just, so like Giuliani shit. has already fucking made it probably like ten times yeah. worse. In the last, All the like, apes talking weeks, and so. shit like. I feel like maybe Mueller, Mueller is just letting him, like as you're saying, self-destruct. But you can also read the temperature of the room, like vis-a-vis -vis Trump, because he tweets everything he says, the aides say everything, yeah. and now that Trump is on that pardon kick, Mueller knows exactly what he's doing. Even mm -hmm. if we might not exactly know where Trump is heading, Mueller probably does. Yeah, yeah, and that's true. Like Trump hasn't been convicted of anything, but he's already talking he's about Trump. Like he has. <laughs> like, Which, yeah. yeah. So well, yeah, I think it's 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 interesting. Like I I actually love it. I I hope Mueller just fucking lets it roll. Yeah. And just <laughs> you know, we have to keep talking about Trump. I don't like talking about Trump. Well, we're stuck. I mean, I think we're gonna be stuck till 2020 either yeah. way, so. Everybody is fucking stuck. <laughs> anyway, we're ending this podcast, cause, yeah. Yup, alright, see you next week.